what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new go check out those old videos that I posted but in this video I will be discussing my BMT experience so stay tuned you guys okay for those that don't know I did graduate basic training July 2017 I don't remember the day but I did go to basic training May 25th 2017 and yeah like let's just jump into the day may 23rd the original day that i was supposed to ship off to basic training i did have early, older videos discussing my whole um process of trying to join the military and trying to go to basic training and i went through a phase where i didn't want to do youtube anymore so i deleted them so i'm just going to give you a little background information i did start off with a different recruiter that i ended with i started off a recruiter in memphis that's where i live so i started off in a recruiter with a recruiter in Memphis and honestly I just went liking the vibe <laughs> that she gave me and I just felt like I was pressured and she was pressuring me to choosing and it was just you know I just didn't feel comfortable I felt like I was um getting pressured into doing things that I didn't want to do and you know I don't know I just didn't like it so um with that, I kind of held off with wanting to go to the military because that whole experience just kind of, I didn't like the experience. So I was like, you know what, maybe the military isn't for me. So I held off and I went to school. Um, I went to school in Chattanooga, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. And uh, I feel like later on in the semester, I started thinking about, uh, about the military again. And that's when I decided to pick it back up. And I was going to pick it back up with the same recruiter because I wanted to retake my ASVAB. And um, I wanted to retake it with her because I wanted to continue the whole process with her. But she would not answer my phone calls, my texts, anything. She just did not um answer me so i took that as if she didn't want to get in contact with me so i um i called the recruiter down in chattanooga and when i say that was the best decision i could have made um he got all of my information quickly i went to meps quickly and everything just happened so smooth like it was meant for me to do it so with that being said i was like okay well it's meant for me to join the military because all this is happening to me like so easy and at first it was such a hassle and so many complications where I was thinking like maybe it's not even worth all the hassle that I'm going through and when I changed recruiters like everything just went the way it was supposed to go um he get and informed me on all the things that I needed to know and he got me in and got me out and I really appreciate for, appreciate him for that and I appreciate recruiters that really tell you and are, that are honest with you and just don't tell me you and just don't tell you what you want to hear so anyone who's trying to go through the recruiting process please be mindful and uh, be knowledgeable about what you're getting yourself into and know your facts so you won't have to learn it from someone else so um the only downside to switching recruiters is um, that uh, my paperwork got lost. So I was supposed to ship off to basic training May 23rd and I did not. Um, the day I was supposed to report to MEPS and uh, sleep in the hotel and all that good stuff, I went to MEPS and they, didn't ha they did not have any of my information there. Um, I could not ship off without my paperwork. So basically I just waited and I was that was when I was like freaking out like oh my god is this wow like am I gonna have to go through all this again like it's crazy so I went in there they couldn't find my paperwork paperwork and the man was like we're gonna try to find your paperwork the um the worst case scenario is that you might have to leave uh leave out with the next group that's leaving out shipping out and I feel like that was until the end of the beginning of june the next uh group of shipping out and i was supposed to be shipping out may 23rd so yeah so he was like go home and i'm gonna let you know if um we find your paperwork so i went home and lord behold they found my paperwork and they were getting fedexed over to the maps and he told me i was shipping out the next day which was may 25th which was two days later than i was supposed to originally ship out and um I was really nervous because I did not know if anyone at that MEPS was shipping out with me, which no one was shipping out. I was shipping out by myself. And only me and one other guy got to um, Lackland on May 25th. It was only two of us. 
thank god it wasn't just me it was another person but i was really nervous i was like oh my god this is gonna be like horrible like i'm gonna get there they're gonna yell at me i don't i'm not getting yelled at in a mass group of people so i'm not experiencing this with a whole bunch of people like it's okay if you're getting yelled at with everyone else but when you're just getting yelled at by yourself like that's scary so that was the main thing that was going through my head so when i got there um i got to the airport lackland and i went to um the little u.s old thing and he was like oh hurry up the bus is about to leave you so i'm like running to the bus i get to the bus this white creepy squeaky old bus it only had two seats in there one for me and one for the guy and all the rest of the seats was taken out so i'm nervous like we're driving from the airport to the base and i'm nervous i'm like okay just get yourself ready like you're here late like it's nothing that you can do they're gonna yell at you just get ready get yelled at like you got here late deal with the consequences but what i didn't know was the mti's left at eight o'clock and i got there around nine and it was late and it was lights out for everyone and it was only one lady one mti that was there we got off the bus and um they were it was kind of like i was like oh this is too good to be true like someone is going to pop out for sure get off the bus they're like oh welcome to lackland welcome to lackland welcome to lackland i'm like oh this cannot be it this is not it no like <laughs> No, um, whereas the MTI, MTI is gonna pop out in two seconds. Like I'm every time they every time every time they're saying welcome to Lackland, like I'm not saying anything. I'm like, you know, nodding because I'm like they're setting me up. Like someone's gonna pop out. And what I didn't know, they were med holes. So you know, they were just helping us. No MTI popped out. Um, I got all my stuff in my handy dandy backpack that they gave me, and they took me to my um dorm and they said good luck drop me off and that was it and i went to bed and the next morning i woke up and it was the and that is how my zero night i guess was like okay i know it's like a drastic change i went from like makeup hair down cute to like fresh out the shower getting ready for bed my room is freezing but um i was going to a um, going away party for my master sergeant who was leaving and yeah um i couldn't finish the video but um, where i left off was um talking about like how my zero night went um so i guess we'll jump into the first week um week one is basically you know you get adjusted you get your the day i got there we got our uniforms and um yeah, we got our uniforms and all that good stuff. And we were wearing our uniforms with our sneakers. And week one is like, we're called the Sneaker Weekers. Which is the most tackiest, ugliest thing ever. I hated wearing the sneakers. Like, that's how you knew that we were like the new people. And it was just ugly. Like, I hate wearing the sneakers. So, yeah, that happened. And went to services that first Sunday. Which I advise anyone... Gosh, my TV's on. Hold on. <sighs> oh God. Um, I would advise anyone to go to services. Um, it really helps you cope, and it's like an escape. It's really an escape from um from everything from reality like it gives you time to like decompress so um yeah i suggest going to services any kind of service service that you would like going to so yeah so week two was like the transition into like um boots and sneakers so we were like wear our sneakers for one part of the day and then wear our boots for the second part of the day like that was the transition period and we were breaking in our boots but we were still like sneaker weakers but we would sometimes wear our boots like half the day so we were like oh we moving on up with your tongue about yeah yeah <laughs> so um i think we did that for the beginning of week two and then the rest of week two i think we wore our boots i'm not sure honestly i forgot um, we too, nothing special really happened. We were going to classes. Uh, classes is majority of basic training, to be honest with you. It's three parts of basic training. Classes, drill, and the last part is you spend majority of your time, um, making sure your stuff is inspection ready. Clip, clipping strings, dusting out your wall locker, getting your security drawer all secure and all cleaned and all that. So, um, 
yeah that's pretty much basically basic training in a nutshell um the hardest part to me about basic training was staying up in those classes like i stayed in the old dorms 322nd second and nine and let me just tell you those classrooms was hot they were small the desks were really close together you had no elbow room um you barely had room to move out of the desk i feel like it was a fire hazard like if a fire was to break out we would probably pounce over each other over each other like literally you're right here and the next person's right there and you had like this much space in between the rows we were so packed together it was ridiculous um third week this was like the best freaking week this was the week that we got our name tapes i remember this day um i remember the first day we got the name tapes they called us into the day room and it was handing out our name tapes and i'm like oh my god whoa we got our name tapes so third week we got our name tapes and we had to get a song on and it was just i felt like that was when it was like wow like i'm wearing a uniform that has united states air force and has my name on it like it is official like i'm officially like a part of the united states air force like my name is on my uniform like try to get at me try to tell me something but please don't let that get to you because they knew when you had them name tapes freshly sewn on like they were on you they were like i can't believe you're doing this yada yada you just got your name tapes you're supposed to be leading example like oh my god it was they knew when you got your name tapes trust me it's like they were like oh Fly 506 got their name tapes today. Oh, we're finna embarrass them. Oh, they think they're cool because they got their name tapes. They're not. We're finna embarrass them right now. So, yeah, they were really on us, like, hard when we got our name tapes. Um, and I think that was also the week that if you went open general, you went to the, um, the liaison people and you picked out the jobs that was on the list or whatnot. Um, week four... Honestly, trying to think what we what happened in week four. Honestly, you guys, I wish I could tell you. I wish I was one of those people that wrote down stuff. But honestly, like, even though you have so much time on your hands, the little time they give you, you want to use that time to write your letters to your loved ones and read your letters and all that. And honestly, I didn't spend that time writing down what happened in basic training because i spent that time writing my letters because they only gave like i know my flight it was like it depends on how we did for the day how much time we had to um write our letter and then when you write your letter you have to go send your letter off in this point in time and you had to march there it was just you know i just didn't take the time to note down and jot down everything that happened to me i i'm sorry that i wasn't gonna do it and no i honestly wasn't trying to memorize every freaking day like the days went by so quick the day went by slow but the weeks went by so fast it it was ridiculous um week five was beast week um beast week ah I, I should just talk about that in a separate video beast week was something it was so hot i feel bad for whoever goes to basic training in the summer beast week is going to freaking kill you you don't understand being in that mop gear man like i would take a shower like as i'm getting dressed getting out those showers i'm sweating i would come out the showers dripping drenching and sweat it was like it was no point of me taking a shower because as soon as i start putting on like my pt clothes i'm drenching in sweat it was i'm not gonna say it was the worst thing it was livable it was survivable but when i tell you the day we got back to our dorms, I was like, oh my god, yes, I'm dorm sweet dorm, 
eight shower heads i missed you bed sweet bed like it was like i'm so happy to be home i'm so happy to see my empty eyes like that's how i felt coming after peace week i was so happy to be back like i was like oh my god i'm so happy to be back and in the deep back like oh i missed it so much um what happened sixth week a six week I don't feel oh six week was mostly like graduation practice um yeah we practiced a lot a lot a lot uh practice drill we practiced graduation a lot and honestly that's pretty much what six week was um every week is filled with classes and all that um I don't know, was it the sixth week or the seventh week we took the final PT test? Overall, you take three PT tests, you take one PT test, I think is either the first or second week you're there, and then you take a second PT test, fourth week, and then you take a third PT test, sixth week, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but it's somewhere along those lines. Um, so six weeks, I think we do take the PT test. I'm pretty sure it's six week because seventh week is graduation week. So six week it was we had to take the PT test because seventh week is graduation week, which is the best freaking week ever, you guys. Like when I tell you graduating is like I did it. It's like the surreal moment. Like you see your family, you see everyone you love, and it's just like, oh man, all of this was worth it. Like I love it, and I, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. <sighs> Once you live through it, you'll understand. And um, eighth week is Airman's week. I'm gonna make a whole nother video for Airman's week and Beast week. Honestly, Airman's week, everyone's like, oh, I hate Airman's week. What was the point of Airman's week? Airman's week to me was awesome. Basic training, period, point blank. It is what you make it. If you have that mentality where, oh my God, why we have to do this? This is so pointless. Like, why we have to do this? Like, if you have that mentality, of course you're gonna think everything you do during basic training is pointless and stupid. Why, why, why? Don't ask why during basic training. Just do. If it's so many whys. Why we gotta wake up early and not do anything? Why, 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 why? Don't ask why. Just do it and just know that you're doing it for a purpose, you know? And a lot of people talk trash about Airman's Week. Honestly, I liked Airman's Week. Even though I went right across the street, I liked Airman's Week. I felt like, you know, do I think it's an unnecessary week? I don't, I guess. Um, it's an unnecessary week. To me, it was an unnecessary extra week of being there. But I wasn't going to think like, oh my God, this is pointless. You know, I was just like, you know, I'm going to take it for what it, was, for what it was. We're here. We might as well just embrace the fact that we're here and also you got to meet people in airman's week that was mostly you're going to be in tech school with but like i said that's going to be a whole nother video um so my biggest thing taking away from basic training is um i think i gained a lot of patience um you gain so much patience in basic training you don't understand how much you are tested throughout basic training <laughs> you're tested a lot and you honestly see the person that you're going to be and you get to see how people see you and uh another and their, through their eyes you get to see how people see you and it's just amazing i think i've grown so much i grew so much in basic training like i'm not gonna say i was just like a shy person but i was mostly outgoing i was very like out there i like to talk i like to have fun and you know i just basic training really taught me that i was like a leader like i didn't know i was a leader i was more so the person in the background to myself and i was best basic training it was like oh my gosh like you're a leader like people see you as a leader um and it was it was great like for my mtis to point that out to me and you know it was like i would not trade anything for anything for basic training i wouldn't say i'll just go do it all over again but it really teaches you the person you're gonna be are you gonna be that person that slacks off and just gonna be that person that makes it through just being mediocre and not really standing out or you're gonna be that person that freaking owns anything that you do you know and it's amazing because i started off getting there late and 
I ended up being a element leader at the end of basic training, not even knowing that I was anywhere near element leader potential. Like I said, I didn't see myself as a leader and I, I finished it as a leader and I was so proud of myself. I was so proud of the person that I saw I was becoming and I was just proud of the results of basic training. Like I say basic training molds you and it shows you the type of airman that you're going to be and it's it's amazing it was amazing and i wish anyone the best of luck that's going through basic training like i said go in there with an open mind please don't go in there you know stuck in your ways be able to adjust be able to take criticism be able to you know just take everything hands on and say you know i got this even though i'm out of my element just a little bit i got this and i'm gonna kill this and i'm gonna do everything you know Go there with that goal that you have and keep that goal in mind. Remember that goal. That goal is going to get you through. And just, you know, continue to strive. Strive. You know, every day, you're going to have days that, you know, you're like, why am I doing this? Why am I here? Or days where you just don't feel like being around anybody. But you keep that goal in your mind, in your head, and it's going to keep you going. It's going to keep you pushing. And that's pretty much it i'm sorry if i really couldn't go in detail about the weeks um that's just all i pretty much remember um i'm just gonna stay remember to stay focused and you know be a good wingman be a good wingman at the end of the day we are brothers and sisters in arms to these people that we're just now meeting you know and you don't understand the relationship and the bond that you just build with these people that you've been with for eight weeks. It is honestly something extraordinary. We build, you build a family. My, Me and my flight, we, my flight and I was a family. We argue like sisters. That's what family do. Family argue, but at the end of the day, you would do anything for your family. And that's how I feel like the air force is in general i'm in a tech school and i'm not in tech school i'm in my base and me and my my shop i just feel like they're my family like i i is and in tech school i feel like the people that i met there was my family like the air force the military in general these people are your family and you don't understand the relationships and the bond that you build it is captivating it's amazing and I, it's I can't put it in words, but I feel like anyone, don't matter what branch you're going to, don't matter what, joining in the military is the honor for you. It's the honor that you're going to show your family, and it's the honor to be in something that has that bond, you know? And honestly, every day I put that uniform on, it's still a shock to me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm in the, I'm in the Air Force. Oh my God, I'm in the military. It's still a shock to me till today. I've only been in for two months, I know. And it's probably going to be a shock to me, too. I don't know when. It's a shock. And you know what? Um, That's pretty much it. I don't want to ramble on in this um, video. But who's ever going to basic training, keep your head up. You can do it. You're going to get through. You're going to see the other side. You're going to graduate. Don't have any doubts in your mind. If PT is what you're worried about, you work your butt off till the day you go to basic training for PT. PT is not a joke. They don't take it lightly. If you are off by one push-up, you will not make it. If you are off by one second, you will not make it. So I say take PT seriously now and don't wait till you get there to try to take PT uh, seriously because that's what a lot of people do. They wait to get there because people are like, oh, they're going to get you in shape. They're going to get you in shape. shape. Yeah, they're going to get you in shape, but you also got to do your part as well. But um, that's it for now. Um, stay tuned for my next video. Bye.